Hey everyone, it's Ariel and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you the entire process of what happened after I applied flaxseed gel, DIY flaxseed gel to my hair every single day for five days straight. This was definitely a hair experiment. <sighs> that smells like popcorn. <laughs> Here's my flaxseed gel. I do feel like my hair is lighter, but I gotta be honest, my hair feels bad. So I recorded this whole process for you guys as much as I could, and now I'm gonna share it with you. So before we get into the actual video, if you don't already know, flax seeds, when mixed and boiled with water, turn into um, a really, actually a really good DIY gel. And I honestly, I had heard of flaxseed gels, before but i had never actually used one on my own hair so before i even started making the gel or going any further into it i decided to do a quick google search and figure out what the benefits of flax seeds are and why why i should do this basically and kind of just what i can expect when putting this flaxseed gel in my hair so this is what i found flax seeds are naturally high in omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin e which both help to strengthen the hair, making it a really good solution for somebody with damaged hair or just really dry hair, color treated hair, like anything that makes your hair kind of damaged or feel brittle. They are also high in vitamin B, magnesium, and manganese. They're known to have an anti-inflammatory effect, which also makes them very good for repairing hair. Again, going back to the damaged hair. And they're known to have a moisturizing and defining effect, especially for curly hair, which was definitely a number one reason why I was so excited to do this challenge because I have curly hair myself and so I'm always struggling to find like the best definition and the least amount of frizz. And since flax seeds are known to both define curls and prevent frizz, I was like, yes, let's try it, let's do it, and let's see what happens. So flax seeds have all of those factors and benefits as well as being known to prevent hair loss as well as promote hair growth. And I'm honestly not expecting to see any hair growth with this being that it's only a five day challenge, but I think maybe if you did it for longer, you could. And one last thing is balancing the scalp's pH levels as well as the production of oil. So it's really good for not just the hair, but also for the scalp. So that was a lot of information. <laughs> that was all new to me as well. So that is kind of what I went into this experiment with. Now, of course, step one was for me to actually make the flaxseed gel. So the recipe I have says to boil half a cup of flax seeds with four cups of water. And we are supposed to boil this at medium heat. So after combining the flax seeds with the water, I set my stove to medium heat and I just let those cook for about 13 minutes. And I tried to come back every minute or two to just give it a quick stir and kind of check on them, make sure it's not like boiling over or anything crazy. But as you can see, it slowly just started getting like more foamy and just kind of thickening up. So that was definitely interesting, but it was very cool to watch it kind of like transform into the gel. So we are now at the 10 minute mark and this is what it's looking like. Getting closer, but it's not quite there yet. Still a little bit too thin. So this is now at about the 13 minute mark and I can tell we're getting close because it's really starting to foam up now. So once all that was done, uh, once I felt like the consistency was kind of close to what I wanted it to be, um, I took them off the stove and I strained them. Now this was quite a process. This was really my first time like working with cheesecloth. <laughs> so it was kind of a mess, but I just poured my little flaxseed mixture over top of the cheesecloth and over top of a bowl. And I tried to squeeze out as much of the gel as I could. And then I basically ended up with this flaxseed gel, which actually surprisingly looks a lot more like gel than I was expecting. So yeah, that was me making the gel. Now, of course, it was time to apply. So this is day one of the flaxseed gel hair challenge. I just washed my hair last night. I didn't put any product in. I just shampooed, conditioned it, and then let it air dry. I just did this because I feel like it's the only way to get like a real before and after shot. So here we can see how my hair looks without any product, just after shampooing and conditioning. And then I will do the same thing at the end of this challenge. That way we can really see the before and after of what the flax seeds do. So this is the before. So yeah, this really gives you a good idea of how my hair looks. By the way, this is without any product in it at all. As you can see, quite a bit of frizz. There is some curl definition there, but a lot of frizz as well. So it's not super defined. Um, it does have volume, but honestly, that's mostly frizz. 
Definition is something that I do struggle with. That's probably like my main issue. And just kind of retaining moisture because my hair soaks up moisture really fast, but usually it lets go of it really fast too. So yeah, not putting any product in my hair and air drying is honestly not the best combination, but I wanted this to be a fair test to really see if this flaxseed gel would make any difference. So without any further ado, here's my flaxseed gel. Looks like gel, right? It's actually like, the perfect consistency. So basically on day one, I just sectioned my hair into, I think three or four sections. Um, and then I applied the gel on pretty damp hair. Look at how plump and juicy these curls look. This is already the before and after, look at this. <laughs> I just made sure to work it in really well into all of my hair, as well as my scalp. As we now know, flax seeds have a beneficial effect to the scalp. And of course that's where our hair grows from. So it only makes sense. So I wanted to make sure I was treating my scalp as well. This actually feels really nice cause it's so cold. <laughs> so I just applied the gel really all over my entire head. Then I just put my hair in a plastic cap um, and then I put a towel over top to really make sure that the gel could penetrate into my hair. I think it's recommended to let it sit for 30 minutes to an hour. So I'm gonna aim for somewhere right in the middle. Okay, so just a little update. I can feel it dripping like down my neck. So I had to put this big towel on. This is how I'm looking now. I'm thinking I just put way too much in. So definitely next time I do this tomorrow, um, I'm not gonna put nearly as much in. I'm just gonna leave it in for another um, like 10 minutes probably. It's been about 25 minutes. So I'll leave it in for another 10 and then I will just rinse it out. And <laughs> then I'll show you guys. And there we go. Now it has officially started dripping from the top. I ended up leaving that in for about 40 minutes um, and then I rinsed it out with water in the shower and then this is what it looked like after. This is the results. I was actually shocked at how great the results were from day one. I mean, I was hoping that they were gonna be good. But I was just like really surprised at how soft and how defined my curls were considering that all I did was just rinse them out and then not put any product in. It feels weightlessly hydrated. I am about to leave the house right now, so I think what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of product in, like just a little bit of leave-in conditioner or something so I can go out and my hair is not gonna be this big in an hour. But yeah, these are the results from day one. I actually did end up putting some leave-in conditioner in later just because I was leaving the house with my hair down and I knew that if I didn't put any product in, it was gonna like, be this big like out to here so i wanted to just make sure my hair wasn't gonna look absolutely insane and throughout the day um i did end up putting my hair in kind of like a little pineapple style i felt like it was drying just a little bit awkwardly so honestly that's usually how my hair ends up so yeah ended up in a pineapple i do remember like running my hand down the back of the pineapple and like being like wow that's really soft um so it felt very soft very like just light um, which was really nice. But then as the day went on and my hair like really started to dry, it started to feel a little bit like crunchy. So I was kind of like, hmm, that's kind of, that's kind of weird considering how like soft and moisturized it felt at first. So that was a little bit confusing, but that was day one. And now I am back and it is day two of this little flaxseed gel challenge. Today, woke up, took a shower and just rinsed my hair with water. Um, and I did put a little bit of conditioner in just so that I could detangle it in the shower so I didn't end up with like a frizzy tangled mess. So let's see how it looks. Okay, so right off the bat, it feels soft. It is pretty frizzy, but again, I don't have any product in right now, so I can't expect too much. Definitely feels very soft, but it also does feel a little bit dehydrated, if that makes sense. Like it feels like it's still a little bit dry, but again, I don't have any product in here, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain too much about that. So I have my flaxseed gel here. I'm just gonna apply it kind of in the same way I did last time. Towel over me again. This stuff is very messy to work with. This is so cold, so much colder than yesterday. Wow. So after day one and seeing how the gel was like running down the back of my neck, I felt like I just put way too much gel in. So for day two, I decided to apply it in the exact same way. I just didn't put as much gel in. So again, just section my hair, apply the gel. Can't forget to apply it to my scalp as well. This is the best part. I'm just gonna clip this up, put my plastic bag over top, towel. 
I'm gonna let this sit for longer this time. Um, I'm gonna try to let it sit for a full hour and we will see if that makes any difference from yesterday. And I rinsed it out just with water, same as I did on day one. And then these were the results from day two. Okay, so I ended up leaving it in for a little more than an hour, probably like an hour and 15-ish minutes. But I gotta be honest, my hair feels bad. It feels like brittle and I can't figure out why that could be. It just feels brittle and dry and frizzy. So yeah, kind of confused because the first day it felt so soft and like hydrated. So yeah, I'm starting to wonder if this whole thing is just gonna be a big fail. I mean, it could be that my hair is just kind of trying to adjust. It is a little bit of a shift in my routine, I guess. So that could be part of it, um, but hopefully we get better results tomorrow. So yeah, day two was a bit of a letdown. I was pretty disappointed with the results, especially with how like well it started with my day one results. And then that day kind of like started going bad. And then day two was even worse. And I was like, oh my goodness, is this gonna be like a giant fail? <laughs> like I was pretty disappointed, but I thought maybe if I switch out my application, it might give me a different result. So that's what I decided to do. For day three. So I ended up having my hair in a bun after day, day two's little kind of mishap. So this is how my hair looked on day three. I just got in the shower and took it out of the bun. And on this day, I decided I was gonna apply it like a regular gel. So what I did is I co-washed my hair using my As I Am Long and Lux Grow Wash, which is basically just a cleansing conditioner, AKA a co-wash. I applied that to kind of cleanse my hair, refresh it a little bit. And then I went in with a mask. I used the Garnier Nourishing Treat, put that in my hair and then detangled it, rinsed it out after a few minutes, threw my hair up in a t-shirt and then sat down for day three's application. Hey everyone, so this is now day three of this flaxseed gel challenge. As you guys saw, yesterday was a little bit of a fail. Um, my hair felt really bad. I'm still not sure why that happened, but basically my plan for today is to use it as a styling product. I'm actually gonna scrunch it into my hair just as you would a regular gel. Um, and I'm gonna see how that works. So this is my hair freshly co-washed. I want my hair to be soaking wet when I apply the gel and my hair literally dries within milliseconds. It's so annoying. So I'm just gonna re-wet it. It would have been better if I applied it in the shower, but I just didn't feel like filming in the shower. So I just sat down and kind of re-wet my hair like as wet as I could get it. Yeah, this is just gonna have to be good enough. I applied the gel just as I would a regular gel and then I let it sit in my hair for the rest of the day. So I'll let it air dry and then I will come back in a few hours and show you guys how it looks. So this is how it looked immediately after applying the gel. And then I also have a clip of how it looked after it dried, which I will insert here. So it did dry with a lot of volume, I will say that, um, but it was pretty frizzy as you can see, and then also just not very defined either. Um, but I didn't hate these results. It wasn't bad. Like I've had results like this just on a regular, day when I style my hair. So I wasn't upset about these results, but yeah, this is what it looked like on day three after it had fully dried. So on day four, I ended up putting my hair in a bun again for day four. And I actually ended up applying the gel on dry hair. Kind of just wanted to see if the absorption was any different, like if my hair absorbed it differently being on dry versus wet. It did also make the application less messy because you guys, this application, like applying this gel was so messy. That's why throughout the week, I started to just only apply it in my bathroom because I was just sick of getting gel like everywhere. So I applied the gel on dry hair. It did make the application easier. And I did also find that brushing through it after I applied the gel made a huge difference. That was something I didn't do on day one. Um, I believe I did it on days two and three but I didn't do that on day one. Um, I did notice though that it made a big difference. It really felt like it got like all the way distributed. Like it just really brought the product all the way through my hair. So definitely glad I started to do that because I feel like that did make a difference even if my results weren't as good. So yeah, just applied the gel in the same way. The only thing I did different was applying it on dry hair. And then again, just put a plastic cap and a t-shirt over top and just let that sit. 
I believe on day four, I let it sit for a little bit less, maybe around half an hour this time. And then again, just rinsed it out with water and these were the immediate results. So my hair really didn't have a lot of curl definition. That was one thing I was kind of surprised about throughout this entire process that my curls really never felt defined. If anything, it might've made them less defined. So I was kind of confused about that. That was something I was really expecting to be like a big factor of this. But yeah, here you can see on day four, I was lacking some curl definition and again, suffering from some frizz, which honestly it's normal for my hair. I was just hoping that maybe these flax seeds would help, but my hair still did feel very soft. So those are my results from day four. So finally, day five, this was the last day of my little hair experiment. Honestly, on this day, I was not feeling this. Like I was pretty over this whole challenge, experiment, whatever you want to call it. Um, Cause I felt like I just wasn't getting good results. I wasn't getting the results I was kind of hoping for. So it started to just feel like a big fail, but I had to do it, it was my last day. So I pushed through, applied the gel in the same way this day as day four. So again, on dry hair, just applied the gel all over my hair. Didn't even section it really, just applied it all over my hair and to my scalp as well. And kind of gave myself a little massage massaging it into my scalp. This felt really good because it was so cold. I kept storing the gel in the fridge. So every time I applied it to my scalp, it was really like refreshing. But anyway, yeah, applied the gel, brushed through it using my wet brush. And then for day five, I ended up leaving it in for about 45 minutes. And then when I rinsed it out this day, I decided to do something a little bit different. Um, instead of just rinsing it out, I actually used my Denman brush and kind of like brushed through my hair as I was rinsing it out. So I couldn't really do this with the angle I was coming at this with. It would have been a lot easier if I was just standing in the shower like you normally do, but I wanted to make sure I could film this. So while it was like sopping wet with water, um, I brushed through it with my Denman brush and my thought process for this was that it would give me more definition because that's what a Denman brush is known for. And so I brushed through it as I was rinsing it out. It did feel really good when I was doing it but I don't know if it really made any difference. Another thing I did a little bit differently though was that I used the last little bit of gel that I had left to kind of scrunch in and see if that would give me more definition. So this is what my hair looked like immediately after doing that little bit different method. At the time, I felt like it looked really bad. <laughs> that's why my face is like this but looking back at the footage i actually feel like it might have been one of the better days my hair does have a little bit of curl definition but i still feel like there's so many curls that are just kind of there they're not defined um they still look really dry and like dehydrated so again not great results unfortunately but yeah this is what it looked like when it was still wet freshly out of the shower and then here's what it looked like after it dried so these were the final results after five days of applying flaxseed gel to my hair and I was actually surprised that these were the results because I feel like my hair, if anything, might look worse than it did at the beginning. Like it just looks so dry and like no curl definition at all. So pretty disappointed with the results, but maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. Maybe I switched it up too much and tried applying it in too many different ways. Um, so I would try this again and maybe give it a second shot. But yeah, those are my results from applying flaxseed gel to my hair every single day. Even though I didn't get that great of results, it was kind of a fun little experiment. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. Um, also leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts of this video and this little hair challenge. Let me know if you think I should have done something different or if there's any other product or like DIY experiment you'd like me to try. Leave that in the comments below. I think that is it for today. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.